one, I got my first Kelly in Beijing, China, believe it or not. Um, I didn't expect myself to be actually getting my first Kelly in China at all because a lot of Chinese, as you know, they get it from other places in the world. And I've heard a lot of stories about how painful it is to, you know, meet the quota, get to know the sales, and, you know, actually almost pleasing them before you can uh, be privileged enough to give money to Hermes and uh, get your first bag. But surprisingly, my first experience was nothing like that. In China, it was actually very, very smooth and easy, so to speak. Uh, I still remember it was the third day or something within a week that I arrived in China. I went to a mall called SKP, and that's one of the um, more luxurious um, high-end shopping centers uh, their sales yearly sales is unbelievable and I still remember I went in there it was having an annual sale and um, and, it, and it seems quite pleasing a lot of you know hustle and bustle people having many many bags and then we just walked into Hermes and um, and I was asking the sales like I normally do just kind of not expecting anything but hey uh, do you have any Birkins or Kelly? And so to my surprise, the sales right away said, yes, we do. What are you looking for? What color? And I said, well, the last one I got was a Chanel and it was white and it was a medium size. I'm hoping something more uh, everyday use this time. So a smaller size would be good. Any dark color because the white was very painful in the aspect that I had to really care for it and it's not for every day. So anyway, she said, just dark color and um, and small. And I said, yes. And and then she said to me, well, I have a pink in Birkin and kind of like a dark blue, blue in um, 25 in Kelly. And it's in gold hardware. So I said, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like that's what I'm looking for. And she said, oh, by the way, you know it's a ratio of one to one. So it's very straightforward, unlike some story that I've heard where you have to build a report, never ask for sales, uh, that you wanted something, you know, build a relationship before you ask for a favor. But that wasn't the case with me. And as soon as she said that, I said, okay, let me take a look around. Their store is not big, by the way. It's actually quite small, but it has all the essentials i would say what's popular they, they did have it back then so i was walking around and uh, i was playing around I, I was looking at jewelry too but jewelry one item kind of met my quota right away and being new to Hermes, i just decided that uh you know what let me check out other things maybe there's things that i can use also daily so I continued browsing and there were scarves obviously, there were clothing, there were uh, china, there's blankets, um, children, uh, baby stuff, uh, and shoes obviously, and accessories. Uh, so basically I was just browsing around. I remember there was a point where I was picking out things and marking it down or gathering it somewhere because the whole store was a mess. It was. It felt like a Walmart more than an Hermes because everybody was shopping. Uh, and there was a point where I was calculating and I was like, I'm not really meeting that target. Uh, I almost wanted to give up and the sales came to me and said, hey, you want to um, take a look at the bag first? I said, okay, let's do it. And then she brought me to the room, you know, closed all the, um, all the doors, uh, make sure it's an enclosed private area. And then there it was, the bag. was that because it was an annual sale there was an additional 10% off um, it was something like 10% uh, of the value which will be given back to you in a gift card style but how it works is um, the sales just 
separate it into different bills if that makes sense to you so that we don't we're not stuck with an additional 10% so they just kind of worked it into the math so that we just got an additional 10% and being a foreigner um, I also get an extra 10 to 15 percent I would say uh, of a rebate so that was very nice so it, it, total I got at least 20 percent uh, discount uh, and for those of you who are interested by the way that something I didn't know at the time was that um, during this annual sale of SKP, the mall, besides the typical 10%, if they're participating retailer, for certain days, you actually got an additional 10% off uh, for certain uh, brands. So if I had only knew about that, or if I had only went on the right day, technically I could have gotten more than 30% off. But at the time, I just kind of went in there, I saw what I liked, I, I, I bought it. So anyways, just a note uh, to future people who are interested, uh, if you're in China or happen to be stopping by, that's just something to watch out for. In the end, uh, everything was successful as you can see here. This is actually all everything we got um, that day. As I said, uh, we only arrived there within a few days in China, so we're actually not even settled into our new official place. So what happened end up happening was that I took the Kelly with me uh, and then I asked her, hey, hey, can you hold the rest of the stuff? Because I'm still in the process of moving. I was still in a hotel going to move to my next place and they said no problem. Uh, but we highly recommend that you don't leave the Kelly with us. I guess it's due to, you know, um, liability issues so i did take my kelly with me that day but the rest they kept and sent it to the store where i live like where i live also had an hermes downstairs so they just kind of shipped it to that store so once i moved in i went downstairs and i just picked it back up so it was a, quite a smooth uh, experience all in all and uh, i would say there wasn't a lot of pain involved in it. Uh, I have been to France and I did, you know, go in and ask the sales, hey, you have any Birkin? You know, listen, I'm ready like to make a purchase. But obviously things are different there. And I think it's also luck depending on who you meet and are you going at the right time. Uh, different people do get different experiences. But so far, I really enjoyed the China experience, especially maybe a lot of people don't know about the tax refund that they actually give to foreigners. So that was really helpful. I was uh, invited to that um, year's uh, warehouse sale. And that year's warehouse sale was very interesting in the sense that I think everything was 50% off or maybe more but I, I vaguely recall that it was something like everything 50% off there was some sort of a limit as to how many scarf you can get um, how many shoes and etc but the limit was quite high something like 10 or 8 or something like that so for personal use wise it's definitely enough and uh, it was quite an experience because I also read somewhere in Europe that people lined up hours and hours starting from you know 2 a.m 5 a.m etc uh, we had none of that experience because i think it was an invitation only and uh, the people that went are usually clients of Hermes anyways and they just kind of send them um, invitations uh, because of how much they spent that year i think i read somewhere that if you spent um um, something like 20k RMB uh, that year if they have a warehouse out you would qualify to getting invitations and they actually called me first so they did ask me hey do you want more invitation to a friend that you uh, would like to come we can send you as many as you want so that was something interesting if your friends that are going anyway it's actually quite easy you just talk to the there's a, the, uh, a hotline I guess in a way it says Aramis what they call you and you just tell them hey I have two more friends who are willing uh, wanting to come so at the time, I think I got a, a few tickets and that was uh, an interesting experience in itself. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you uh, that video. I'm looking forward to posting it. Thanks again for watching. Bye. If you're interested in more Hermes videos, I do have comparing real and fake other VIP events, uh, sample sale, and how I got my first Kelly. So please feel free to check out my channel.